guys, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Alex, this is Josh, Hi. and that's TJ. And today we got the old sea duck. We brought the sea duck back. Actually, we kidnapped it from my son. Uh, this <laughs> has been hanging in the garage since last year's flight. That's when he built it. And uh, we wanted something big and epic to fly around. It's a little droopy. It's a little droopy. <laughs> and if you push it, it kind of sways. It just wiggles a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna, this will probably honestly be the last flight, but we want to build a new one anywhere for this year's flight fest. Yes. So it's okay. Uh, we're gonna go up and have some fun, mainly with the new FT Gremlins. Yeah, we got our carbon fiber Gremlins. So we're gonna do some flying. Uh, well, let's get in here. Yeah. Yeah. Stop talking, let's get in the air. All right, taking off. Half the battle is getting in here. Oh, dude. So I'm flying with this little keychain camera, which we've never really tried before. And I'm running on three cell. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Ready? Hold on. Ready? Ready. <laughs> it looks like a big rubber band powered airplane. That's mean. Dude, the gremlin keeps up with this thing, no problem. It's hilarious. Wait till I put this in the wind. So we've been toying around with one thing. A lot of people, when they saw this last year, wanted plans and a build video. If we actually refine this to make it so it doesn't droop and it lasts a long time, yeah, let us know in your comments whether you'd like to see that. So the main thing about the Gremlins that we, from the beginning, they've been nothing but fun. It's one of the simplest quads to build and to fly because it's such a small quad that it has a lot of, it has a lot less mass. So therefore it's uh, less likely to break. Dude, I'm literally like almost inside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, speaking I'm, of fun. So seeing both of you is pretty cool in the yeah. feed. I don't want to tell you this, but like pieces of this plane are falling off of it as we speak, <laughs> which is so funny. I want to go through. Oh, dude, did you go through dude, the boom? Dude, that was amazing. I want to no, go through I almost the boom. went through the boom, but I did like almost <laughs> land on the wing. I'm going to try to come underneath. Oh! Dude, I got I did that. It. I did I it. I saw you do it. No way did I ever think that would work. Yeah. It's so great this I'm going to try to go straight below. I'm going to go from the top to the bottom on the booms. Dude, you're... All right, I'm going to turn to the right. Your engine... Uh, your engine... Flappy thing? Nacelle is flapping open. Yeah. Pieces <laughs> are falling off this plane. This is actually... I never intended this thing the last year. And, uh, you know, God bless Michael. He's my youngest son. He wanted to do an amazingly big project. And he did this from the ground up. I helped him draw it. And then from that point on, he was building and flying. Oh, I touched, I touched your elevator. Am I going too fast? TJ, yeah, like, get out oh, <laughs> I touched the gremlin. Oh, so, dude. so one thing about the gremlins here is you can build these frames from any material. You can 3D print them, you can make them out of wood. We like to sell them with the uh, Delrin frames and we've had really good luck with that. Now they're not as awesome as carbon fiber, but they take uh, hits really well. And a matter of fact, if any of you guys have ever bought one of our Delrin frames and they break, please send us a picture of it. We're gonna send you a new one for free. But we actually like, are upgrading also the carbon fiber because lots of people want it, right? Yeah, yeah, the carbon fiber is cool because I mean it's you're it's pretty and you're never going to damage it. I mean we haven't broken anything, but with that said, I haven't personally broken a Delrin frame either. Yeah, now, you guys have brought a lot of energy to uh, to this Gremlin concept, and one thing they have now is they have like red <laughs> bottoms. <laughs> I hear that. you guys. Yeah. Are you trying to get inside? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I'm running the 1106 4500 KV red bottoms on three cell right now. Now we we have flown it on four cell, but honestly we don't need it. The three cell is more than enough, and uh, <laughs> dude, it's it's crazy. But with with that said, we will be. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm on the ground. <laughs> Bummer, I got. I, it. I caught oh, that. Stefan's got it. I but anyway, it. Uh, as we were saying, the the red bottoms coming. You'll be able to upgrade if you want to. You don't need to. The, the Emax Power Packs we're using, which Alex is flying on right now, is... And I'm carrying a camera, too, and it yeah. flies fantastic on three, so... Yeah. Well, and here's one of the things, too, is, you know, performance is great, longevity is also great, too. You don't want to have a two-minute flight time unless you're doing something like a race. Yeah. Having the freedom to fly up to seven minutes on a simple 500 milliamp battery is awesome. And that's why I like the red bottoms I'm using now, because it's a little bit less of a KV, 4,500 KV. So I might not get the, the speed, but you know the, the efficiency is a yes. little bit better. Dude, uh, this is fun. I love being a little tiny quad chasing a big giant plane. <laughs> Does it feel even bigger than life? Actually, it's not that, it, it's, it's kind of interesting because flying this micro quad with this giant plane right now feels just like flying a mini quad chasing a normal size RC plane. Really? Yeah, like it's, it's it like a scale yeah, yeah. representation of yeah. everything. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, that was a hit. <laughs> I was trying to get in, in the cargo bay. Dude, it's so funny. Like, it's like it looks jumping. like there's a little net following you. <laughs> and I should mention too, I haven't checked the weather, but it feels like about at least 10 mile an hour wind right now. Yeah. 
You can yeah, hear the I trees blowing. I love getting this thing going. So you okay? Here we go. Here we go. It's like a yeah. real giant clipper. It flies so good. You're on. You're off. Oh, you're I was, covered. dude, I was on. <laughs> you were in, dude. I saw it. Was I inside? Are you or still on? You're on the boom. So we owe you guys a huge thank you. Uh, one thing with the Gremlins, you guys have brought this up on our forum post, so over 400 posts all around the FT Gremlins, and you've really kept the spirit about keeping it fun, contributing your ideas. And one thing we want to do is we want to feature those designs and that collaboration on our product page so people can actually download your files and your designs and build them just like we do with our swappable planes. Oh, so cool. oh, you guys hit each other. Yeah, dude, you knocked me, in, you clocked me right in the face. A little bumpy, sorry guys. One more time. I just keep seeing you run into it. It's hilarious. Yeah. Now, one thing that we promised is that we're going to be releasing new frames every month, and that's definitely the same for this month. We got two young men, Andrus Liu and my son, Michael Bixler. They're going to be contributing their little Delrin frame designs. One's a dead top <laughs> style, and one is a beautifully small but well-placed design uh, that's made by Andrus. Uh, that is just amazing. Both these young men have done a wonderful job in designing those frames. This is uh, my gremlin. This is the, your gremlin. And <laughs> my favorite part about this is not only it's compact feature, but show them what's on the back there. Yep, I just put a buzzer on the back because, like, be honest with yourself, if you lose it out in the field, you're not gonna find it. So no. with the buzzer, you just flip it on, makes a beeping noise and helps you find it. We're gonna go have some fun. Nice. Fly it? Let's go. All right. I love this. You know, a lot of people think you need to go to like an exotic location to fly. Yeah. Hanging out with friends and a group of trees is really some of the most fun flying you can do. Dude, like it's fun on two cell, but when you switch it over to three cell, it's a whole nother animal. <laughs> I love three cell on this thing. Alright. Oh, Flappy Dude! Flappy Dude, is it up? Yeah. Let's go play with it. I love how brave you guys are. Sorry, Jeremy. You should see Jeremy's face right now. He's going to kill you. <laughs> so here's one of the coolest things. Uh, every time you get a Gremlin power pack, you get to pick which Gremlin frame comes inside. We always have a selection of Gremlin frames. Andrus is going to be on the store very soon. I love how compact it is. Yeah. I'm really excited for the carbon frames. They're lighter, they're stronger. Yeah. It's all around better. Yep, and whether it's Delrin or carbon fiber, every frame we have is a lifetime warranty. If you break any of it, all we want you to do is send us a picture with you smiling, holding the busted frame. We're going to send you a new one for free. Wow, that's, this is the love of a friend. Oh my gosh! This is only on a two cell. Whoa! Whoa. That's on a two cell? <laughs> nah! What the deep hit? Alright, let's get back to the action. Let's do it. Alright, dude, I want to roll here. Alright, do it again. Dude, I dove through your booms. Dude, dude. I'm sitting on your boom. Oh, I, I did it again! Oh, I did it again! <laughs> Yeah, I, I went through the booms and I just... Dude, TJ, that's the keys. You got to get some altitude, yeah. line it up, and then just... <laughs> that's so much right. fun, dude. That's so, so gratifying. Oh, he did it again! <laughs> oh! Oh! So the staple Gremlin pack is the 1104 Emax Power Pack. That's the, that's the pack from Flight Test. It's actually include the, the Delrin Gremlin frame for free. Uh, and also two really great screwdrivers are gonna help you put mm -hmm. it together. And it's a very good pack, and the thing is, it, it's wonderful as far as price point yeah. and performance. For 90%, I mean, yeah, 90% of the people, they're gonna get the performance, the long flight times, everything you need with that pack. Yeah, and the, the biggest thing is the price point, the amount of fun you're getting for that cost. Yeah. And that's not saying that you can't upgrade and spend <laughs> more money on different motors, different components to have you know either a faster quad, you know, as far as efficiency, this is really probably the most efficient you're going to get with this setup. Yes. I'm yeah. sorry I keep interrupting, but <laughs> no, I'm you're so fine. much fun. I'm having so much and we're fun. flying out in like 10 mile an hour winds. You can have fun indoors on a two cell. It's still going to be really fast. Or you can go outside and put a three cell. You even carry one of those little key fob cameras, which is great. <laughs> and now if you, if you actually go to the red bottoms, you can even put a four cell. So if you yes. go to the red bottoms and then they have the 12 amp bullet ESC, so you have to upgrade. Yeah. But if you do that, you can put a four cell on it. We don't really need them. We've no. been running that same setup with a three cell and having a blast. That's the one I'm flying today. Yeah. As a matter of fact, HQ is coming on board. They're going to help us yeah. develop some new props that we're going to hopefully be testing out yep. and uh, carrying very, very soon as well. Yeah, actually, we just sent everything over to them yesterday. So yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to Zhang uh, knocking those out of the yeah. park for us. 
Now, if you guys are passionate about education, uh, we have a full-blown STEM program that you can download for free and actually bring these little gremlins into schools, which is nice because they're not very, you know, intimidating. Yep. Uh, they teach you all the basic skills, but also they teach you about frame design. Yeah, and I don't know if we can really touch on it yet, but we are working with Emacs to make an yes. easier plug-and-play version to be able to go in and learn all about the quads, how they go together without necessarily needing the soldering skills yes. or any of the, the more intricate. Emacs yes. has been absolutely phenomenal with helping us out with this process. It's really cool to see how all the people in the hobby industry are really passionate about education. Yeah, yeah. yeah and another cool thing that we like as far as with the gremlins is, you know, we just touched on the, the soldering is yes. very, very, very tiny with this. Yeah. So not a lot of people can do that type of soldering. So if you want, whenever you go to build your gremlin or buy your gremlin from the store, yeah. at the bottom is a little checkbox. If you check that off for $49, either myself or Ian at this yes. time, Two we'll build them. Builders. And we've been building these things non-stop. Oh, oh, you were in and out! Yeah, along with these gremlins, we're also wanting to do a little bit of different thing yeah. because not only is it the Femto F3 board from Emacs where it doesn't really have mounting holes, but they also have other things out there with a 20 by 20 mounting stack. So you get flight controllers, VTXs, 4 in 1 ESCs. There's a whole line of other electronics that go along with this that we're just going to keep going with the micro section. So, I mean, you know, the Gremlins are a blast. We really enjoy them and we want to allow everybody else to have their yes. own passion as far as if you want something that goes crazy fast, if you yeah. want something efficient. Something fun. Yeah. Whatever your idea of fun is, <laughs> if it's going 60 miles an hour with a two inch quad or diving through a giant foam sea duck, <laughs> you can do Brother, it. Brother, I want to make this a kit. This is too much fun. Can you imagine the, like, the stack of foam that this would be though? I think it's like 20 yeah. sheets of foam. Oh! Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, you're on the very edge. I saw what you were doing. All right, on that note, I'm landing. Michael's going to be so surprised when this comes home in one piece. Oh, look at there. <laughs> I got a quad. <laughs> That's awesome. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> all right well very cool so thank you guys so much for tuning in for this yes. one and thank you guys for all those of you who have built a gremlin so far yeah, yeah, uh, you guys are really driving this forward it's actually become like a little movement a little yes. brushless quads which is which is yeah. amazing it's exactly what we want yes. we want people creating building sharing and, and having fun and yeah. that that's right there you just said it man that was the thing when the whole idea behind these was bringing fun back into quadcopters yeah it's just like so, any niche of the hobby whether yeah. it's 3d helicopters 3d planes a lot of times it gets so intense that it gets a little overwhelming for somebody who's new yeah and that's kind of the idea with these quads is to keep it simple, keep yeah. it fun. Yeah. And hopefully you guys will be sharing in the future. We're definitely going to be revisiting probably monthly mm -hmm. as new designs come out. Once again, thanks for your contributions. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.